Hey, welcome back, folks. I'm here, as usual, with the exciting conclusion to Dark Savior Parallel 1. You ready to do this thing? Alright. Fucking Bilan. And even the rose fades out this time, that really can't be a good sign at all. What, catch a comet? Anyway. <clears throat> Silver Castle is probably the strongest example of the easy mode aspect of uh, Parallel 1, in that in both Parallel 2 and 4, Silver Castle is the toughest part of the game, hands down. Whereas in uh, Parallel 1, it pretty much has no content at all. All we do is follow Bilan's slime trail to the top. Our doorway's a little bit hidden here, but again, all we have to really do is follow the slime trail. Slightly tricky climbing here, but there's really no penalty to falling. You'll just land back on the ground level. This tower's straight out of Castlevania. It's time, folks. <clears throat> well, that's bad. Well, we've certainly seen he's capable of crossing the sea. Sharks notwithstanding, no matter what, uh... What's his name, uh... Curligan says. Well, we're gonna have to fight twice, so for the first part, we can at least give Musashi a little half measure of revenge. And. Ah, oh, jeez, Garion, would it have killed you to at least wipe him off a little bit? Anyway, both Musashi and this version of Balan have a uh, somewhat unique uh, capability. They have two hit guard breakers. That is to say, if you're at the right range, as you just saw, the first hit will. Uh, will break the guard and the second hit will land. While Musashi is slower than Dirt, his double hit guard breaker is really good. Uh, better than Bilan's, actually. Because Bilan has to be fairly close and hit you with the top part of the range to actually make it land. The biggest disadvantage to Musashi is that it is practically impossible to land a super. Oh, that whole hitting Bilan in the back thing. Uh, some people are very handy at that. I am not. Uh, usually I just get hurt when I try to get behind him, so I just don't do it. However, there's a little bit of a glitch that you can take advantage of. If you uh, show him your back, then uh, if you do a turn around attack, it counts as a back attack for some reason. So you can take him down much quicker if you just keep showing him your back, and that flash means you got a back attack. I have no idea why it works that way, but it's fairly convenient. Just a little exploity. Helps make up for the fact that I really cannot land Musashi uh, Super at all.
and Milan is more than willing to punish me for it. Oh, come on! That was an early hit. <laughs> that was lame. There we go. Sorry, I just wanted my sword shirt you in there. And so Musashi gets a little bit of revenge. You don't get any points for that fight. <clears throat> yeah, our man Gary is pissed now. Um, I'm not sure you're gonna want to see Kay again after what happened. But, no matter. This one's for Garion. And this is Decisive Battle, which is one of my favorite music tracks in the game. So I'm gonna shut up now. chime in for just a moment. <clears throat> uh, Giant Bilan actually has one major weakness. Because of his uh, big hitbox, the uh, double hit guard breaker doesn't actually work. His just hits one time like anybody else's. 